morning everyone. You know, I'm always trying innovative ways to do things differently. And it's not because I always have to, but it's really good to keep my brain active and think of new ways to do regular things that all of us have to do. So I was giving a washing machine that a friend of mine who also subscribes to my channel she found it along the curb and she thought well she'll pick it up and give it to me i have more videos coming out on that so i don't know what you're going to see first but i was trying to figure out new ways to do things that we always do and well i came up with a really neat idea so i'm going to show you how i changed this little washing machine that i can use my rainwater without any effort on my part to wash my clothing it's really damp and cool today, so I'm going to have to dry my clothes inside the house, which doesn't take much time, and it adds moisture to our home. So lots of times when it's in the fall, I will run my dehydrators, because that gives heat in the house, enough to take the chill out of the air. And you're not running as much electricity with a dehydrator as you would with having heat. So I do things like that, that saves money, and well, it does two things at once. It heats our house a little bit, takes the dampness out, and it's dehydrating my food. All right, everyone, let's go over here to my rain barrel and let me show you what I figured out works amazing. So I'm gonna just show you what I'm working on today. And I hope that I inspire you and motivate you to get working. The leaves are changing their colors now. And well, I have to go get my battery pack. And the only reason why I have to do that is because I really don't have any access to electricity out here. So what I'm gonna be doing is 100% off grid, like totally off grid, because I am not using any resources whatsoever that cost any money. Oh, that is amazing. Now, because I do, I did get the battery pack for free. I understand that. I understand that, you know, most people can't afford that. But my videos are for entertainment and just to share with you my life and what I am doing. And so I hope you enjoy it. And maybe even though you don't have a battery pack, maybe it instilled in you something like, hey, I can do this. So let me show you what we're going to do. All right, so we are using rain water to fill up the washer. It's a really small one, so I'm hoping this works for this. Okay, so this little washing machine takes hardly any electricity and battery. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. This is amazing, absolutely amazing. I am so super duper excited. All right, I think we have it just about full on that. I don't need to close the lid. Perfect. So super duper excited about this. Like, I was just thinking the other day, well, wait a minute. We don't have our hoses anymore. We had to put them away because it's getting cold. And I have all this water in my rain barrel. And I was thinking to myself, what in the world could I do? And this is so neat. Rain water is naturally really soft too. So it's gonna get your clothes really clean. Okay. And it, it's not even taking any, hardly any battery. Unbelievable. I am so happy. So what I have to do is the ringer part doesn't walk, work. That's why the people were throwing it away. So I have to wring it out by hand, but that's no problem. What we do is we'll let this wash, then we'll drain it, then we add the, the rinse water. Then that rinse water becomes the wash water for the second load. Let me explain that again. So 
This we will rinse because it's dirty. But when we put the rinse water in, then we keep that in and that will be the wash for the next load. So we're hardly using any water. The clothes are getting really clean. It's 100% free. <laughs> oh, I just love my rain barrels so much. Absolutely, they are the essential item here on the homestead. Okay, while this is working and I'm really wasting time by talking, I need to go in the kitchen and mix up some meatballs to put in the freezer and for a meal I'm having this week. And then I need to fix a book. So we're gonna do all of that today. I guess you'll just come along with me today. All right, now let's go in the house. All right, so I have this really old book and it's in bad shape and you can see that the cover is almost off of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to mend it. I bought some tape on Amazon that is made for documents of this kind, for vintage old item. So it's acid free. We're gonna see if I can get this to work. If I can make this a little better. It's not very clear if you're doing it binding, but it's made for pages. So if you are going to be fixing it with pages, you can see here that it looks really nice. And it, it did, it fixed it, just what I needed. And that's what it looks like. Now I can go put this on my easel over here. And now that book is finished. Right, now I'm gonna mix up some meatballs and get them done and then we'll go out and we'll finish our laundry. Since I do a lot of cooking with dried beans, I'm going to go ahead and wash these beans and soak them. Now it is daytime, normally you just soak your beans overnight, but these beans are older so they're going to require longer soaking time. So we're going to be making some bean soup coming up here and I'm going to go ahead and we're going to put them in here. I'm going to rinse them. And then we're going to soak them and now that is finished and then i'm going to do a little more cooking here in the kitchen and then we're going to go out the question about the bacteria in the water. It's free. There's no bac bacteria at all in this water. I have test strips and I test it out periodically. Especially in the cold season, you won't have the bacteria. Now in the dead of, in the middle of summer, you could have bacteria and then of course I won't use them to wash my dishes. Or I do put a little chlorine in it and that kills all of the bacteria. This isn't something I've just been doing this year. I've been doing this for 12 years. So that's going to go in the dishwasher. 
So we have the water all ready for the dishwasher. This is the rinse cycle. Now I'm gonna wring this out, most of it by hand. And I love doing that, it's a lot of fun. I wish I could get the spinner to work. I haven't had time to really look at it yet, but I've had these in the past and it could be something really simple. That's why the spinner isn't working. But until I have a little extra time, I just do it like this. All right, so now everything is rinsed, but we're not draining that water because that water is going to be our wash water for our second load. So all we do is wring it out by hand. Now, a lot of people have asked me, what do I do with my quilt and things like that? Then I can take it to my daughter's house or I can take them to laundry mats. I generally wash my quilts about twice a year and that's always in the summertime. But you'd be surprised what these hold. So these will hold one sheet and one fitted sheet separately. So I just do two loads of wash with, so I just do two loads of wash, which would normally be one load for somebody with an American standard size washing machine. Well, thank you everyone for spending a part of the day with me. You know with YouTube you just see little snippets of people's lives and I try to share with you as much of my life as I possibly can. I'm a morning person so my videos are always in the morning and by one o'clock I try to wrap up all of my filming that way I can start with the countless hours of editing which I really enjoy as well. So the leaves are falling, they're turning colors, but I'm still getting things out of the garden and I'm still having a lot of fun and harvesting all kinds of herbs and a few vegetables yet. It's been a very unusual fall for us here in Eastern Pennsylvania. And where I live, it's always just a little bit warmer. I'm not sure because we have the ridge line, we're protected, we don't seem to get the cold blustery air like a lot of people do, but for some reason, whether it's because I have so much mulch in the garden, even with a frost, my stuff is still nice and green. <laughs> and it's really unusual. This is very unusual for me. So I still am picking a lot of tea, a lot of herbs, and trying new ways to keep my food supply more of the year. So I am taking precautions, like I'm putting co covers on things. I wanna see once what I can do like I did last year. I have spinach growing in my hotbeds and back here behind me, a lot of parsley, which I think it's gonna overwinter. So that's gonna be nice. It'd be neat to be able to harvest green herbs all year. So thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait to share with you again tomorrow what I'm working on. And I hope that you're having a great day and I hope that you're feeling blessed. Bye everybody.